What you playing, boys? I just finished grinding out my Genshin Impact dailies. I was going to ask if you wanted to join me and George for a game of Among Us, but I can see you're occupied already. Donald was saying he wanted to show me this game he found. It's called Dead Cells, apparently. The only dead cells around here are the ones popping out of your scalp, Joe. But yes, the game is also called Dead Cells. I think I've heard of this game. It's that roguelike with a blend of Metroidvania combat, right? It's pretty famous in the indie game landscape. How do you know this, Barry? I didn't know you liked these types of games. I heard about a couple years ago. Couldn't get past the giant dude that throws fists at you. The game is way too hard. That's because you're not an experienced gamer like me, Barry. Now watch me as I beat the game in one try. So what do you do in this game? It looks like you're using some sort of dagger to mercilessly murder everything in your path. Well, see, Joe, that's actually kind of the point of the game. The entire lore is that you're an undead psychopath killing the inhabitants of the entire island to escape it. That's pretty deep. Sounds like the perfect game for you, Donald. A little looting and pillaging never hurt anyone, Barry. Besides, this is a game so I can get away with any morally questionable activities I want. I can see why people wanted to ban video games. It sure seems you're having quite the violent tendency by playing these games. No, it doesn't, Joe. Playing video games has no correlation with becoming more violent. It's just a convenient excuse politicians spin up to put the blame on the individual, instead of actually convincing Congress to tighten up gun laws. Damn it, Donald, you weren't supposed to admit that. Joe, I assure you, don't listen to anything he just said. Well, I'm having a little too much trouble keeping up with what's going on screen that I conveniently missed everything you guys said in the last 10 seconds. That's to be expected by an experienced player like me. And just so you know, this isn't even the build that I main. I do remember there being a lot of weapons in this game. What playstyle is your favorite, Donald? I gotta go with the broadsword. The feel of swinging a massive, hefty weapon always feels satisfying to pull off. You sure you're not compensating for something there by saying you like massive, hefty swords? Shut up, Barry, and let me focus. And while we're at it, what was your favorite weapon? I don't remember much, but I gotta go with the Frost Blast. The feel of stopping any monster whenever I wanted made me feel really powerful. Typical Obama always going with the safest option. You gotta learn to take risks sometimes. Where's the fun if you just freeze everything you see? Well, inflation is the one thing we can't freeze. I wasn't talking to you, Joe. You shouldn't judge people for how they approach things, Donald. Just let people play the way they want. The stuff you two say always bore me. Take your sensitive ass back to Binding of Isaac. Unlike that RNG fest, this game actually requires skill to play. I got no idea what's happening right now, but things are happening on screen and it looks cool. I'm playing fast here so Sleepy Joe doesn't doze off. We're about halfway through the game now. It only gets better from here. What in the world is that abomination? That thing's got way too many eyes. Well, in case you can't read the title card, that's Mama Tick, one of the bosses in the game. I don't remember this being here when I played. It's new content added by an expansion. And just think of Mama Tick as the weird-looking wart growing on Joe's head. My head's fine just the way it is. Seems like the game gets a lot of updates. It's almost unrecognizable when I last visited it. They just released a Castlevania update last month with more on the way. By the time they finish updating this game, Joe would have already died of old age. Hey, I like the look of this place. Everything is all shiny and golden. This is the bank. It's where all the tax dollars swindled by politicians get stored. Don't believe I've seen this place either. Though I must admit, I'm really digging the aesthetics here. This is what every visit to Trump Tower looks like. I feel like I'm right at home. I always visit this biome whenever I can. You two wish you could afford something this luxurious in your time in office. Those things are taking your gold away. You sure you're not going to do something about that, Donald? Don't worry about that. I'm about to teach these fools not to mess with Donnie. I hate it when thieves try to take wealth away from hardworking Americans like me. You've never worked for a single day of your life, Donald. Shut up, Joe. You know what I like to say? When the looting starts is when the shooting starts. Now give me back my gold, you thieving bastards. I think you're a little short on cash there, Donald. Maybe you should wait until the next biome before upgrading your weapons. I just need a small loan of 2,000 gold to buy this weapon. And unlike any foreign debt Barry accumulated before I went into office, I do plan on paying it back. At least I don't secretly bail out banks to avoid total economic collapse, unlike a certain someone here. Hey, don't look at me. As long as the public doesn't know it, then no one will know. I gotta keep things under tabs, a little backdoor deal here, a little bribery there. Something, something capitalism. I've been in this game for longer than you think, Barry. Well, it's a good thing no one is listening in on this conversation. 
We'd all be pretty screwed if people found out how corrupt we are. Hey, maybe you should give some money to that piggy bank. I'm sure that NPC will appreciate it. Give away money? That sentence doesn't grammatically make sense. It's our job to keep the working class poor. We can't let poor people become wealthy. How else am I going to be able to afford my 10th super yacht? I agree with you, Donald, but you didn't have to put it so bluntly. Hey, that's the giant skeleton that kept fisting me. I couldn't beat the game because of this guy. Well, when someone fists you, you fist them right back. The giant is an easy boss once you get his moves down. And there we go, boys. That's how it's done. We've successfully murdered every inhabitant on this island. Now we restart and do it all over again. I gotta say, Donald, as someone that does nothing but preach about building walls and shilling NFTs, you're pretty good at this game. Well, that is, until we get to the next boss cell, then everything gets kicked up a notch. Anyways, it looks like Michelle is baking cookies again. You boys are free to come over when you're finished with the game. Peace out. What the hell is a boss cell?